Heaven and earth are united today for Christ is born. Today's Gospel, Friday, December 25, 2020 Heaven and earth are united today, for Christ is born. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke, chapter 2, verses 15 to 20 When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying which had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary kept all these things, pondering them in her heart, and the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. The Gospel of the Lord Merry Christmas! Our Advent preparations have been completed, and we are now invited by our Lord to enter into the glorious celebration of his birth. How well do you understand the awe-inspiring mystery of Christmas? How fully do you comprehend the significance of God becoming a human born of a virgin? Though many are quite familiar with the beautiful and humble story of the birth of the Savior of the world, that familiarity can have the surprising negative effect of keeping our intellect from deeply probing the depths of the meaning of what we celebrate. Notice the last line of the Gospel passage quoted above, and Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. What a beautiful line to ponder this Christmas day. Mother Mary was the one person who would have understood the mystery of the birth of her son, the Son of God, the Savior of the world, far more deeply than anyone else. It was to her that the Archangel Gabriel appeared, announcing her pregnancy and his birth. It was her who carried her son, the Son of God, in her immaculate womb for nine months. It was to her that Elizabeth, her cousin, cried out, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is thy fruit of your womb. It was Mary who was the Immaculate Conception, the one who was preserved from all sin throughout her life. And it was her who gave birth to this child, carried him in her arms, and nursed him at her breast. Our Blessed Mother, more than any other, understood the incredible event that had taken place in her life. But again, the Gospel above says that Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. One thing this tells us is that even Mary, the mother of Jesus and the mother of God, needed time to ponder, reflect, and savor this most holy mystery. She never doubted, but her faith continually deepened and her heart pondered the unfathomable and incomprehensible mystery of the Incarnation. Another thing this tells us is that there is no end to the depth of the pondering to which we must commit ourselves if we want to enter more deeply into the mystery of the birth of the Son of God. Reading the story, setting up a nativity scene, sharing Christmas cards, 
attending Mass, and the like are central to a holy celebration of Christmas. But pondering and reflecting, especially during prayer, and especially at the Christmas Mass, will have the effect of drawing us ever deeper into this mystery of our faith. In the Gospel, we also heard the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God and Son of Mary, who was born for us and for our salvation. The word Gospel literally means good news. Jesus' birth in Bethlehem fulfilled the prophecy that the Messiah would descend from David and be born in David's city, Bethlehem. God wants to fill our hearts anew with joy and gratitude for the greatest gift He could possibly give us, His beloved Son Jesus. We thank and bless God for the way in which He has saved us from the power of sin and the curse of death and destruction by sending His Son to ransom us and give us pardon and abundant life through the gift and working of the Holy Spirit. Today, we celebrate the birthday of our King and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. The joy of Christmas is not for a day or a season. It is an eternal joy, a joy that no one can take from us because it is the joy of Jesus Christ Himself made present in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who dwells within us. Join me in this prayer. Heavenly Father, with the birth of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, your glory breaks on the world. As we celebrate his first coming, give us a foretaste of the joy that you will grant us when the fullness of his glory has filled the earth. Amen. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining, till He appeared and the soul filled its worth a thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn fall on your knees Oh, hear the angel voices A night divine Oh, night when Christ was born Oh, night divine Oh, night divine fall on your knees oh hear the angels voices oh night divine oh when Christ was born O oh, night divine O oh, night O oh, night divine Merry Christmas everyone